Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack 33 Welcome back to not really the finale because you know there's more left, but technically the last level of the game. This is Super Mario Bros. 3, the advanced version. We're going to take on Bowser's Castle with the Hammer Bros. suit and Starman, because why the heck not? Uh, and we're going to avoid some of the unique enemies at the beginning here, these Bowser statues. You're supposed to jump over these. I think you can run through them without getting it. Um, but I mean, I have a Hammer Brothers suit. And don't go in that door, because it'll just lead you back to the beginning. Yeah, so this uh, this is another level where I'll have to show off multiple paths, because there actually is a couple ways you can go through this level and actually get to Bowser. And there's actually two fights with him. Uh, I mean, they're the same fight, but the arena you fight him in is slightly different depending on the way that you decide to go. Also, there was a 1-up back there. I didn't mention it, but I got it. And Hammer Brother Suit's really cool here, because you can take out these Potobos that can mess with you. And now you got these Donut Lifts, which are always, always fun. Okay, I guess I won't mess with him. I usually go this way, so that's what I'm going to do. There is another way you can go as well. But uh, this is usually the route I take, so I mean, I'm just going to take this one. Do that, and go up here. There's a power-up in there, but I don't need to bother with it. I got the Hammer Brother Suit, and I want to be careful with these Bowser statues now. Just stay on top of them, and they won't shoot at you. Just be really careful. As long as you're right up against them, it's kind of like a Bullet Bill or a Piranha Plant. They won't, they won't shoot at you. And now we got the classic Mario th or Mario One fireballs. I'm pretty sure they fire at a specific place and not random. And as as you progress, they appear. Yeah. But here we go. We're at Bowser, and because I have the Hammer Brother suit, I'm gonna try to kill him with hammers here. I can't remember how many hammers he takes, but it's not many, I'm pretty sure. Whew. There we go, he's dead. There, I just beat Bowser, final boss of the game. <laughs> um, as you'll notice in this arena, um, there's like blocks inward. So I kind of just look at the shape of this one, because it's kind of like a V or a U, whereas the other one, you'll see it's a, it's slightly different. You'll, you'll notice, you'll see. Uh, oh, I beat Bowser. Also, a new feature that wasn't in any of the others is you get points after beating Bowser, because the game doesn't end in this one. And it's your your time times uh, 500, so if you want to build up score, you know, there's a, I think you get your, your file to 5 stars. I only have mine at 2 or 3, but anyway. I need like 5 million points to do that. Also, uh, we just beat the game. <laughs> Uh, the dialogue that you get when you save Princess Peach, who's now referred to as Princess Peach, not Toadstool, is different. Um, it's more modern because the whole Princess in Another Castle thing wouldn't really make sense in like this one because obviously Mario 1 was a long time ago, whereas when Mario 1 and 3 came out, not so far apart. But yeah, she used to say, our Princess in Another Castle, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we just beat Mario 3. I mean, the project is not l over by a long shot, because i got to show you all the stuff that I kind of skipped throughout the project, uh, and that's what I'll be doing. Another new addition is the credits here is kind of animated, and it actually shows the credits, whereas it never showed the credits in the original game. But yeah, it actually, what's really cool though, is this little animation here actually replicates the original pictures that... Uh, there were in in like the Mario 3 and All Stars, so that's pretty cool. And here's where we'll, we'll see all the level names. Seaside. I've been naming all the levels. The last one was called what? Um, it's like Big Hill or something. I can't remember. <laughs> I've already forgotten what it is. It's not like Desert Land. There's a big island. Maybe it's not. Oh, it's Desert Hill. Second is Desert Hill, right? Yeah, that sounds right. You guys can correct me because you already just saw it. I can't go back in time and look now. <laughs> I know this one's just the sky, because it's the sky, although I don't know what the bottom part of the world would be called, just the, the land, the ground. <laughs> uh, and I think these cre this credits music is different than, uh, yeah, it's for sure different than the original Super Mario Bros. 3. I can't remember what the original Mario 3 credits song is, but I feel like it's slightly different than this. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. It's been a while since I've beaten the other versions. Usually when I play through Mario 3 lately, I'll just play through this version because it's convenient, it's portable, right? Um, and I think it's the best version, so... There you go. Yeah, but it's been a while since I... 
maybe, I don't know, maybe like three or four years. I don't know, I've, I've definitely, the last, like, three or four playthroughs I've probably done of this have definitely been this version, so. Anyway, that was Bowser's Castle, as you saw. It shows the final fight with the, ten not the Tanuki suit, but the Raccoon Tail. Super Leaf. <laughs> Raccoon Mario. When you use that when you got Hammer Bros. Mario. The end. Press start. Alright. Now show World 8 Perfect Clear, and it is to get this little unique screen here. It only shows this for Bowser's Castle. So of course, we'll save our progress. And now, what makes this version awesome? And why this isn't, why didn't they didn't implement this in All-Stars? I don't know. Um, is now you have a level select where you can just go to any level you want and you can just stock up on items if you want. You can just go in mushroom houses over and over again. It's awesome. Also, if, if you don't have the entire game clear, I'm pretty sure, like, it won't show clear and you'll actually have to do it in order to get this, uh, this level select. Something like that. I don't, I can't remember how exactly how it works, but anyway. Uh, we're just gonna go right back in order. Go back to World One. Notice how all the levels that we've beaten are now blue. Uh, the key door is open, obviously. Uh, we can just fight if we want, like unlimited Starman. We can just fight this guy over and over again, get Starman over and over again. But so we got seven minutes. Let's start doing some of the uh, extra stuff I want to show off. First is in level one, uh, where I didn't show the bottom path of the level. And I'll, I'm gonna after this, I'm gonna try to do a speed run of this level, which I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna attempt it. Uh, there was a demo card that came with the. I don't know why I'm doing all this. There was a demo card that came with the e-reader pack that I got. I still haven't found the card, so I don't know if I'm gonna be showing off too much of the e-reader stuff. But uh, it shows a speed run of this level, and I'm gonna try doing it. So yeah, here's the bottom of the level. It has a power up down here, another super leaf. It's got. This kind of reminds me of Mario One, kind of like when you're approaching near the end of, of the first level. Kind of has that little stairway thing. Not like the stairway, but the little small stairways before it. And then there's this down here, which I never showed off, which is a classic seeker. You can use the shell, but I usually just use the raccoon tail and just do that. Of course, actually, I showed this off a little bit, right, to get... Oh, no, I didn't, because I had enough coins from the uh, pipe up there. And then we'll Star Trek, because why not? Um, now... Actually, I should... I gotta actually, uh... I gotta actually die. What's a quick way I can die? We're just gotta, we're just gotta pit real early. World 5's gotta pit real early. Uh, the reason I wanna die... Oh, this isn't the... This isn't the level level 6, I mean. Also, awesome. Return to map. You can just return to map. Like, how awesome is that? Anyway, let's just die. But, uh... The demo uses the... Use a small Mario. I don't know if that's necessary, but uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna see if we can do this. If I don't do it, it's whatever. It's been forever since I've tried this anyway. Nah, <laughs> I already screwed up. Uh, basically, you just run through. I'll try it one more time. Basically, you just run through the whole level without getting hit. Maybe you're not supposed to. Uh... No, I don't know exactly how to do it. It's been forever since I tried. But what's really cool is when you're running, the little cloud area at the top, the cool part of the speed run is you use the Koopa Troopas to momentum yourself up into those clouds, and it's really awesome. You can get through the level in like 10 game seconds. It's really cool to do. Anyway, World 2, there's nothing for me to show off. World 3, obviously, because it's got uh, the whistle, which I haven't showed off, so I guess we'll show that off. Will I even be able to use the whistle? I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so Boomerang Bro at the beginning here. There's also a bit of the level I didn't actually show off because we went into Coin Heaven at the beginning here. So I guess we'll do that too, so why not? I got some coins here. I already showed off all this, but... Okay, you know what, that doesn't even matter because there's another power-up actually just like right up here. So... That's the first instance of of one of these blocks having an item, I believe. And then you're like, oh, hey, I can get items in there. And it's, it's shorter than the other ones, too. So I feel like you'll hit it. Or maybe maybe if it was taller, you'd hit it. Anyway, uh, to get the whistle, you stand on this white block and you duck. And I don't remember how long it is, but you just duck. Uh, enemies can still hit you, I believe. But you just run behind the thing here. And you come to a secret toad house that has a unique thing. It's one tool on this whistle to send you to a faraway land. I don't know why there's nothing else like this in the game. 
I, mean, I know there's secret exits where there's items and levels, but not not anything like that. Like, that's really cool. Also, notice all the end spades we're getting. I forgot to mention that. In World 8, you actually don't get any end spades. Um, but the game was keeping track of every 80,000 points we got. And because we have Bowser and got, like, a bajillion points, we're going to get, like, a bajillion end spades. So. Uh, World 4 is nothing. It's an auto-scroll. Oh, I'll show you where the whistle is in the fortress, too. This works. Yeah, so I'm gonna try. Like I said, I'm gonna try to show off as much of the game as possible. You need the leaf for this. I mean, that first block has a fire flower, which doesn't really matter. There's a leaf up ahead if you don't have one. Just make sure you're Super Mario, at least. And you just fly up here. Everybody knows this, right? This was in that the Wizard movie. I don't remember if I've actually ever seen that. I just know what's in it. <laughs> but anyway, there's the whistle. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the Wizard. I think that was a little before my time. A little bit. Anyway, so that's two warp whistles. So, if you actually use a warp whistle, we'll just use it. Is it gonna let us warp normally? I guess. It's a little different than, uh... I don't think this animation was in any of the other ones. This is World 9 Warp Zone. Now, if you use the warp whistle in the warp zone, uh... This will actually take you to World 8, and this is how a lot of speedrunners just get to the end, is they'll do level 3, they'll get the warp whistle, and then they'll use the warp whistle in World 9, and they'll get to World 8. I never knew that for the longest time. I never even thought to do that. It's really clever, but uh, anyway. Oh, I want to leave. Save. Did I just, like, screw up the, my thing? I don't want to be... Oh, you, you know what? I keep forgetting. In order to go back to the to, to the main menu, all you gotta do is just... Or if you want to go back to that level selection, you just press the B button. I kind of forgot that. Uh, end spades will automatically still... We'll still have to do them. I don't really need to anymore. So I'm kind of just gonna screw it up because I don't really want any of these items. Not a big deal. Alright, so level 5, there is stuff to show off in level 5. There's actually an alternate path here that we never took. It's not much of anything, but it is something a little different. I mean, our first introduction to water is there, but there's actually some water over here as well. Yeah, we, uh, last time we went up above and we went to the coin heaven part, right? Yeah. And here, is there cheap sheeps there? No? Bouncing around? And you get a fire flower here. Uh, but that's it. That We've done the rest of the level. <laughs> we've seen all this. So that's the only difference in that level. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna try to show off all this stuff that we missed. Because this game is so large. Like, there's so many ways to do each level. There's so many secrets. There's no way you'll experience the entirety of Mario 3 on one playthrough. You have to play through multiple times. That's why I love, that's why I said I love this version, because you can just go in each level and you can experience each level how you want to experience it. Alright, this level, we did the shortcut actually uh, the first time we did this level, so we're gonna do it the normal way. Uh, I already mentioned the slight change that's in this level, but uh, I'll show it off again, even though I already mentioned it, but yeah, this this platform never used to extend this far. Or it was I think it was the one on the left here because I think this only has one in it. Yeah. This one extended because you could duck under. Okay, I screwed it up. Whatever. Not a big deal. Anyway, let's get this one up here. Don't have enough of those. Whoa, whoa. Was not even paying attention. <laughs> I was like, "What? What happened there?" <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh yeah. Let's fight this hammer brother. This is the first Hammer Brother. We turned him into a coin ship when we first did this world. But this is a unique Hammer Brother fight, because there's no other Hammer Brother fight that has one Hammer Bro and one row of bricks besides this one. You get a Star Man. <laughs> How did I forget about that? So yeah, that's a good way to get unlimited Star Man if you just want to do that. Just keep fighting him over and over again. Alright, let's not do that again. <laughs> Man... I think I was looking at my recording window or some excuse that'll save my, um... I feel like this platform is longer too. I feel like this was only about three squares wide as opposed to five. But yeah, anything to save my, uh, reputation as being good at this game. <laughs> anyway, that was ter- that was terrible. 
Alright, let's do what you're supposed to do in this level. What I did last time is I flew. But what you want to do, if you don't have a super leaf, is you can just ride this platform. Ride the, or board the platforms. Not quite the same, but... Anyway. So yeah, it's, it's not much different. I mean, this is your first introduction to these platforms, I suppose. Which I kind of skipped, but... Whatever. Keep star tricking, because why the heck not? I, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff to get to show you guys. Um, oh, we're gonna show off one of the king messages right now. I don't have a frog suit, but I do have a tanuki suit. We're gonna do it with tanuki suit. I feel like I can do this airship without getting hit with tanuki suit. It's the first airship of this game. So like, let's hope. <laughs> then the next video, I'll try the second airship with the frog suit, and then I'll try the third one with the hammer bro suit. I feel like those are like the three easiest. Which makes sense, because, like, it's the first three. Also, you know what I love about this game? I guess you can do it in All-Stars, too, because you can... You can technically revisit levels, but you only, like, revisit worlds in All-Stars. Um, and it doesn't count them as cleared or anything. It's not quite the same. This game has a lot better in terms of level selection once it, once you've finished it. Uh, one change I guess I should mention is that in the original uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, when you beat it... You can play the game again. Uh, either you reset it or something. You don't power it off, but you reset it. And then your entire inventory becomes P-Wings. Uh, but that's not a thing in this game, because obviously we were revisiting the levels. Why am I bothering with this? Let's go fight uh, Larry. Oh man, are you joking? <laughs> I'm never going to show that off. <laughs> oh man, I should just die to him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I'm never, ever. Can I skip this? Please? No, I can't. Never showing that off. I mean, I will. But. That's silly. That's silly. I don't know if you get another item. Like, I don't know if I'll get another P Wing. I might. No. That's garbage. Anyway. That's it for me. Next time, we will show off things in World 2. And then, maybe World 3 and 4. Depends how far we get. But, that's been... That's been technically the first part of Mario 3. Now we're into the second part, where I just show off all the extra stuff. I've been owned SPAC 33. See you next time for World 2 Extras. Till then, bye-bye.